So once again, Ramin Friends City sewing in New York. This time I have a Singer Heavy Duty. Um, this is a very popular machine. We get a lot of these machines into the shop. Um, this one I'm gonna show you. This one actually came in with a timing issue, but this is completely um, um, out of timing. It is true, you know, even the needle board is very high on the hook, way, way off. So something happened, either um, the customer said she was um, pounding on a lot of heavy leather. So I'm thinking that she punch up a very heavy leather and the needle bite went up he moved the timing back so everything is off on this machine i'm gonna open it up now i'm gonna show you how this timing is completely off let's look at this timing look at this look at this look how high this needle bar is really high um as i mentioned to you before the needle should be just about a 16 off from the bottom of the needle plate right now it's more than an eighth of an inch it's twice the height and look at the timing Oh my God, it's really bad. This is really way, way I off. I have the machine here now, okay? So as I said before, the needle bar is way too high. So what I'm gonna do is first, um, 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 before I do anything, I'm already installing there a new needle. I put a brand new needle, the needle that this machine takes, which is at 15X1, eh? I installed a new needle. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna loosen up the needle bar holder right here. This is the part that holds the needle bar. If I lose this, you're gonna see that I can move the needle bar up and down whatever I wanted to, you see? I lose that screw, now I can move it whatever I wanted to. So I'm gonna leave it there, touch them up a little bit here with the screwdriver. It's an Allen wrench, it uses an Allen wrench and the reason why it uses an Allen wrench is more secure for you to tighten it, okay? I'm gonna check it out and see how the timing is. See right now, it's hitting the hook. If I keep going, it's gonna hit the hook. So what I've gotta do is, I gotta loose it and bring it up a okay, little Okay, now high. that I adjust the needle bar high, the way I think it's good, it's about just about a 16 off the bottom plate on the actually rotating hook. As you can see, when it goes down, it's just about a 16 off from the actually rotating hook. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my needle bar tight so that it doesn't uh, move while I'm sewing. Okay, I have laid the machine down. Now I'm gonna go inside and take the screws out from the bottom cover. I need to get to the shaft that it's driving the gear for the hook right here on the front. So I'm gonna open up here, uh, take these screws out. Once I open that up, then I'm gonna be able to see the actual gear that drives that um, gear right over here, which is the gear that actually drive the hook on the top and that's the one that it's off. So I'm gonna open it up Just and I show you. Just took the cover off. This is the shaft right over here. This is the shaft that actually drive the hook, okay? So I gotta lose these screws um, and that's how I'm gonna get the timing on this machine. But I'm also gonna take this cover out just to make it easier for you guys to see, um, to explain you a little easier. You could see how late the hook timing is right now. So I, if I leave it like that, of course, look at the point of the hook, not even close, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to timing that. Okay, I have the machine here. I lose the two screws using my Allen wrench. Now with a shaft a little bit loose because you can't make it too tight. You want to leave it so you could move. I could move the hook if I needed to. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to turn the machine, keep moving. I want to go all the way to the left. Once I'm there, then I'm going to, by hand, I could move the hook, whatever I want it to be. So I want the hook to be just point of the hook, just on top of the needle eye, just like that. Let me see, I can move it a little more if I want to. Right there, I think this is perfect. I'm going to make a close look for you. I'm gonna show you how close, how this has to be. With my hand, I'm moving the hook to the position that I want it to be at. Needle all the way to the left, you can see, the needle's all the way to the left. And now the point of the hook is just over the eye of the needle. So this is the eye of the needle, the point of the hook is up okay, here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about when I said, you see how the point of the hook now is just over? Look at that. It's over the eye of the needle. That's when it's all the way in the further left. When it comes to the right, you're gonna see how high in reference to the point of the needle, it's the timing, you see? That's the way it's supposed to be. Now, all the way on the left. That's exactly how you- I'm gonna wrench it there. I'm gonna make sure I reinforce it. I make it really nice and tight. And oh, that's you finished the machine. I make some samples and stitches on it. Look at that.